Out in some industrial space in Woburn, Massachusetts, a company called Terrafugia is working on a flying car, although they prefer to call it a rotable aircraft. So this is Terrafugia's proof of concept transition rotable aircraft. And we call it a rotable aircraft because it's not designed to replace anybody's car. Uh, it's designed to be a more attractive airplane. Uh, it addresses the four biggest obstacles to the more widespread use of general aviation, weather sensitivity, high cost, limited mobility on the ground at most general aviation airports, and long door-to-door -door travel time. This is the only product on the market that addresses all of those fundamental barriers. This vehicle is designed for pilots, really, for general aviation pilots or people who are willing to become general aviation pilots in order to have the freedom of operating a vehicle like this. So you do have to have a pilot's license, at least a sport pilot's license, but now it takes about half the time and half the money to get a sport pilot's license. There are four pedals on the ground, the rudder pedals are on the outside, and then there's the accelerator and the brake. So when you're driving, uh, you would just use the steering wheel, the accelerator, and the brake pedal with your right foot. And then when you're flying, you've got the stick up here uh, right under the steering wheel, and then your rudder pedals here, your throttle on your center console there. So it you know, flies very similarly to any other uh, light sport general aviation airplane. So tell me about getting the getting a license plate for it. <laughs> that wasn't easy. You didn't just go to the RMV, right? No, no. Dick uh, has been talking with the, the registry uh, for quite a while. Uh, I think it took around five months or so to kind of get the credibility to the point where we, you know, had the manufacturer application in there, um, and we are now the only automobile manufacturer in the state of Massachusetts. So uh, that's that's pretty exciting. Well, we hope to have this vehicle flying for the first time by the end of this year. Um, and then uh, we will be building another vehicle after this uh, and then testing that more. And uh, then uh, hope, we hope to have our first delivery around the beginning of 2010, sometime around then. And the target price tag? $194,000.